Well, many thanks for joining us once again on the newsroom. I am Fola Shadi Ogurinde. The army has buried five members of the Guards Brigade killed by bandits during the clearance operation in the Federal Capital Territory recently. According to a statement by Guards Brigade spokesperson Captain Godfrey Anebe Abakpa, the soldiers were laid to rest at the Guards Brigade Cemetery, Meitama Abuja. Among the deceased was Captain Arthur Samuel and four other soldiers. The former governor of Plateau State, Joshua Darrier, has said he, uh, he won't contest the Senate seat of Plateau Central in the 2023 election. Darrier, who was serving 10 years imprisonment for 1.126 billion naira fraud, was released last Monday after about four years in prison. Since his release, there have been rumors that the former governor had perfected plans to defect to the Labour Party to pick the party's senatorial form to represent the people of Plateau Central Zone. The Anambra government says it's received a sum of 268.2 million naira as its share of 13% derivation from oil revenue. Ifatu Onejeme, the State Commissioner for Finance, said this in a statement issued on Thursday. He urged the people of Anambra and the general public to disregard any other information about the amount of mineral derivation revenue received by the state. A choir bomb is driving Nigeria's latest COVID-19 surge as the Nigeria Center for Disease Control, NCDC, confirms 517 additional infections between August 6th and August 11, 2022. The NCDC made this known via its official website on Thursday. The NCDC said that out of the 517 additional infections recorded, a choir bomb reported 293 cases, while Lagos State recorded 101. In business, the Minister of Finance, Zainab Ahmed, has said the federal government is on course to implement a new tariff hike on data on calls. The new tariff, according to Ahmed, will start with implementation of a 5% excise duty on all voice calls, SMS and data services. This is in addition to the existing 7.5% value-added tax paid on goods and services across all sectors of the economy. The Czech Republic, which hosts the rotating EU presidency, has said a blanket ban on visas for all Russian travellers could be on the bloc's next sanction on Moscow. According to Czech uh, Foreign Minister Jan Lipa Vaska, said in a statement on Friday, yet that he would propose the idea at an informal meeting of EU foreign ministers in Prague at the end of August. A FIFA has officially brought forward the opening match of this year's World Cup by one day to November 20 in a rare schedule change so that holds Qatar feature in a gala game. On the old schedule, Qatar against Ecuador was to be the official inauguration match on November 21, but Senegal against Netherlands would be the first match of the day. England against Iran would be the second. And that's it on the newsroom. Many thanks for watching. I am Fola Shadi Ogurinde. Bye for now.